everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Attic Creations. Today I decided to use the fabulous line and create Lizzie's first Halloween. The reason I'm choosing this line is because it has those colors that are in the, the Cherish paper, which is this um, Seabrook. I know, I'm looking at it going, hmm, what is it? It's also got the peachy colors or the melon colors, kind of kind of the same tones. And so it feels like it might just kind of flow in the book. And that's what I'm hoping to accomplish. I might use some of these stickers. I've been eyeing this one and some of the pumpkins and maybe the cauldron, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and Lizzie was a witch for her first Halloween. <laughs> we had this small little costume that is a... Uh, uh, it was just a white sleeper with a little black cape, and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so I am going with the Seabrook paper for the bottom. Oh, come on, come on. I thought it would clear a little quicker. There we go. Okay, and then I've got these little bits. I got this little witch. I thought she was just so cute um, on Miss Kate's Cuttables. I did notice today I was I bought a few things um, because I had forgotten to go on before the first, and today is the first. And um, so I downloaded a bunch of Halloween stuff and I'm going to go back in a little bit and see what else I can get before she raises the prices because maybe it's happening on Monday, but it didn't happen as of today so far. So far, we're lucky. Okay, this is the only picture I could not find an additional picture for. And so I kind of fussy cut around it. It's not a great job at that one. I'm so sad that I can't find that one because I really like it. Jason's putting... Lizzie on um, Allie's back, which I thought was cute. But this picture, I had two of them. I actually cut silhouettes of just her. Um, so I was really glad I was able to find the whole picture with Jace making her walk, you know, at a month and a half old. I have this picture of Allie, this picture of Lizzie and I, and then this picture of Lizzie. So those are the pictures I have. This is going to be her one month layout because I don't have a lot of pictures of her at each month kind of like I didn't do milestones back then I'm sure other people did but I was not good at that I don't, you know right up front and stuff so this is her one month layout and because it's Halloween I'm going to put this little strip on this pocket as well as possibly possibly the little um, spiders that's what I'm kind of thinking about I'm using the Halloween paper because, of course, it was Halloween. These are just the, the letters I cut out. Um, this is her one-month information. And so I have put it in this little pocket that I will put on this page, and I'm just attaching it to it because it works for me. Um, I just, like I said, I wasn't really good at getting all these pictures. And so my mom, I think, took these. I, I honestly don't know. I'm in some of them, so I'm assuming I didn't take them. I have two of these circles. They're about three inches. I have this circle, which is two and a half. This is Seabrook Light. This is the pattern, um, the polka dot pattern. As you can see, it's the back side of this one. Um, like I said, I cut this little witch because her little costume, It's she's got a little witch and a moon right here on her little sleeper and then a little cape. I just thought it was kind of cute. So that was her, you know, one month pretty much. Set those little bits aside and let's look at these. Okay, so I've opted to use more Seabrook, like I've said, just because I want it to be more Seabrook heavy. I decided to incorporate the black because I wasn't finding that I liked uh, the Seabrook on Seabrook on Seabrook. It was just a lot. And I really do like black and Seabrook. So I kind of want to go this. This is um, layout 80 that I've shared before, and I don't remember what layout, but we'll just see what we do. This one is five and five eighths by 10 and three eighths. This one is, let's see, five and a half by 10 and by 10, okay. That's going to give me that border I want on that one. This one is one by 10 and 3 eighths. Okay, so that's going to match up there. Ooh, stay. Okay, and then on this side, 
we have this one that is two by 10. And these are both light side. And then the pattern paper I cut is six and a half by six. So six by six and a half. And this one is about the same. Let's see here, it's six and a fourth by six and three eighths because I don't need it to be on every side. I'm only needing it to be at the top. So I will basically match that and I don't have to worry about down here. So I used a scrap. This one right here is three and a half by eight. And then I have this black strip that I thought would look kind of nice and I will put that on here so it'll be a fourth of an inch by eight once I trim that. So that's kind of where I was headed with this bit. And then the picture wise, I'm still kind of up in the air. I was thinking um, these pictures over here, this tag I'm about to pull over. Sorry, it's got the word first on it. So I kind of want the word first on this. Um, the circle. So we've got this polka dot circle and then over here, I was kind of going with the polka dot circle underneath that, possibly this tag on top. And then this little bit here, which it would be cut of course. And then possibly that, this is all possibly's. <laughs> um, and then we've got this. So I kind of liked that little grouping there. And then if first is right here and put her there and then put Halloween across the bottom. And I've got these little bits so that I can kind of look where Halloween would work. So I would kind of do that. And then I've got the first right there. And there's the Halloween words over there. And then I have this picture, this picture and this picture. So I was thinking somewhere in here, I still kind of like this one. And maybe that's the only one I would use. Maybe I would just leave this one for Allie's. I could always put it here. So I don't know, this is kind of where my mind's starting. I think I wanna start with the left side today because this feels easier to me than this mess over here that I'm dealing with. So I'm gonna set this one aside. And I'm going to center this one on my desk. I'm going to take that and set that aside. <laughs> take this and set that aside. And let's see if we can get this little piece on here first. Actually, let's cut this down a smidge. So we'll trim this after we get this on here. Does that look straight at all? I'm not sure. Well, it's gonna have to work because that was the Mondo adhesive that will rip this paper. Okay. And let me grab my ruler. And then I want this over, hmm, what about right there? That looks kind of good, okay. So Seabrook Dark for the base and then Seabrook Light for this little strip. Let's see, let's, do we want it at nine and a half? I think nine and a half looks good. Okay. And then let's attach this to this. Now my next challenge will be incorporating either Crisp Air or the other... Um, what is it, four seasons fall into this and having it look cohesive with the other pages too. That's my, my hope next. Okay, let's see here. If we do, we want that to overlap, but not a huge amount. Let's see, four and a fourth. That looks probably about where I would want that. Okay. And then I'll take the bits off of this and I'm just gonna kind of center this. OK. 
trim. So that's kind of the base that I'm thinking. I'm going to now put the base together for the other one. So let's set these pictures over on this mat, my little mat for um, my bits. I'll set these pictures over there as well and these pieces. And this piece, okay. So first I'm going to just attach this piece together. And oops, I want to make sure that this one edge is, is doing good. And then we'll put this on here. And we'll go, I think at about, yeah, let's try seven and three quarters. I think that'll be good. And then this just butts up against it, so um, not too hard for that part of this one. The pictures are where I'm kind of like, hmm. Where are we going with that? But before I go any further, let's get this on here on this little pocket and then decide, do I want to do, because I could do, I don't have enough of this, but I could just do a black strip if I wanted to. And I thought, you know what, because I did it as a pocket, I could just kind of fold that over. Although it would help if I undid that part. <laughs> And I'll have to add a little more adhesive on that. And then, what's my thoughts? I could do that up there, or I could do it at the bottom. I think I kind of like it. I like the spiders. I think they're just so cute. So let's just put these on here and just enjoy it. I'm going to put them a little bit over. So I'll put that there. We'll put that there and trim. There we go. Okay, now adhesive. Okay, so back kind of on track with that. Yeah, I like that. I think it's cute. This little um, ruffle right here, I used my scallop punch for it. This um, file will not have the um, scallop on it. So you have to use kind of a punch or come up with your own idea on that one. Um, I don't know. I will have another file later with all of these on it with the one months and stuff. I have to finish some stuff on those. Um, so I will do that for everyone in hopes that that helps. You know what? I kind of want to put this on here. And I'm going to... And the main reason is I think it finishes it off. I'm going to be covering up part of the bottom so it doesn't need to be completely across it. But in looking at this, it kind of finishes that off. And I'll fix that in a minute. I like that. Yeah, I think that looks great. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of set that aside for a second. And let's move this little bit over here. I'm going to set this aside as well. I'm going to put that upside down just in case, just to be safe. Let's work on this first here and get this on this tag. So let's put this down here. Okay. Make sure that this is even. Start this right here. There we go. Okay, and grab my adhesive. I'm gonna start with the R. It's in the center and it'll make it easier for me because it'll kind of keep that piece in place. I want this side. Okay, so now we're gonna put the Halloween in place and the reason I'm doing that first is because it's got this long tail on it and I want to make sure that it 
fits with the tail. Okay, so let's put that tail piece on. And you have to be very careful because it just really is delicate. <laughs> Okay, Whew. that was stressful, but we've got it on there. So first over here on Halloween, and we've got the black polka dot, and we've got the moon with the witch on it, and we've got these two pictures to go over here. Yeah, everything else should go on the other side. And I'm thinking some twine. I just think a little bit of black twine on that. Let me grab my twine scissors. And let's see here. Let's put down this bit first. And then we'll put this one down and then we'll tie the twine on there. Just a little bow. Pull it and trim and trim. And that won't take up too much room on the layout. I know I'm kind of doing this backwards with the embellishments going on first, but I wanted to make sure there was room for them as well as the pictures weren't like getting kind of covered by anything. Um, there we go. And that. This twine is a very leaky twine. <laughs> it puts stuff everywhere. And actually, let's put this picture down. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's put that picture down a little lower. And then this one, I really wish her head wasn't cut off. But you work with what you got. <laughs> I like that. I like that how it kind of branches out. Okay, perfect. I'm going to set that aside. We'll pull it back here in just a minute. And let's work on uh, the right side. And let's grab this first. And let's see here. Did I want to still put... Yeah, I think I like the idea of putting that kind of over it. One, it hides that space. I could do it that way, but I think I kind of like it this way. I was, I know, I was thinking about this off and on, but I think I kind of like that. It kind of builds it up and gives it some oomph without kind of taking away from the other parts of this layout so I can have more of the pictures on here. So let's see here. Let's put that about there. And we'll put this one on, then I'll put the Seabrook one um, light side again. And then I'll add some twine to this as well. And then we'll have twine on both sides. Just kind of carries that over, which is always nice. And this is May Arts twine. I got this on Etsy, I think it was. I think it was Etsy. I bought it by the spool. And then after, 
that. I started buying the natural on Notions because I could get that one, but I couldn't get the other colors. I think that's how that went down. There we go. Yeah, it's just a little litter bug with that. I like that. That gives that a lot of, of oomph right there. So then we've got Lizzie, and we've got Allie, and we've got Lizzie and Allie. Let's see if I like that. I do like that. But let's look up here and see if I put them up there. Oh, you know what I did forget was to put the little stripe right here. On the thing, the cut file, there's a little bit of a sticker here. But you know what? I think I want to go all the way with that sticker. Can't use those scissors. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Yeah, it just brings a little bit more of that. Let's see. I like that. That's good. This looks kind of like a treat bag too, doesn't it? <laughs> Silly. And let's just put these pictures down. Oops. And then we'll pull out the sticker sheet. And oh, I need to add a little bit of that, the stripe to the other side. That is important. Let's move this over a little bit so it's kind of off, off the area on both sides. And then this one over this way. Okay, I like that. I can live with that. Let me move my extra mat, bring in the other page. And this is where I was supposed to put that stripe. So you know what, I think I'm just gonna pull this off. And let's just lift this up a little bit. And start right there. Put that down and we'll lift this up a little bit. There we go. There, that keeps that consistent throughout. So we've got that stripe here and here. Lots of little stripies and lots of patterns just to kind of keep it from being too Seabrook, but just enough. And let's see what else we've got up here. Oh, I do love this one, although this one might be a better option. Let me see what this looks like. I know, I just start cutting before I even realize if I want it or not. No, I don't like that. Okay. But I do know I like that cut, so I'm not worried about it for the future. Okay. Um, maybe some pumpkins. So some pumpkins over here would be cute. Some kind of a grouping of pumpkins. Keep this here. We got... Just use a couple of little pop tapes for this and see what we think. Okay, I think it would have to be kind of like that more. I like it. Did I get that? Yeah. And then we've got some black stars. I like those black stars. Those are so cute. I put the little spiders here and I don't have a spider over on the other side. We need to kind of trim him up a little bit. Okay. It's not a huge amount of spiders, but just having the one over there kind of ties him in over here. She does have a little tiny spider, but it didn't cut as well as I like. So it's, it's still there. 
um, but I think this big one is a lot cuter. And then we can put some stars up top up here that tie in as well. And what else? What else do we got here? I kind of was thinking about the cauldron, but I think I like it. Unless I put the cauldron over here, but I, I'm not loving the idea of the cauldron for this one. Kind of like these. No, those don't really fit. But they're really cute. I really like those. I don't remember seeing those before. I know they're on there. I just didn't pay attention, I guess I should say. Anything else? We've got some hearts. Mm, I'm not feeling the hearts either. We could put a little pumpkin over here. Let's look at that. Yeah, I think I like the little pumpkin over there. And then I think we should probably be done because there's a lot going on on this page. Um, I almost wonder if I need two. Yeah, it needs the two. Okay, there. We've got the two pumpkins. I think that that's gonna gonna pretty much do it on that page. Let me tidy up a smidge. I don't want to mess so I think this is good it's definitely not where I thought it was gonna go but I think I'm happy with it um, it's not as gorgeous as yesterday's layout but for a first Halloween I think it does pretty good especially considering that the pictures are horrid absolutely horrid <laughs> so there and then we have her one month old so she's got her details she's trying to walk at a month and a half Pretty cool, huh? Have fun. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.